Coming up on Vegas Nation Blitz, the Raiders were victorious in week one. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't perfect by any means, but I mean, it's a division game, we know it's gonna be tough, and uh, guys just stuck with it for 60 minutes. We knew it was gonna be one of those games, and it was cool. At the end of the day, it's about winning, and we obviously wanna win prettier than what we did today, um, but at the, at the same time, it's complimentary football, and you know, we gotta, we gotta play well together as a team to, to get it done, and we did it just good enough. They stand tall atop the AFC West standings, but the team now turns its attention to Josh Allen and the Bills. Vegas Nation Blitz starts now. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Blitz. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin. One down, 16 to go. Thank you for joining me, Leandre Fox, here in the Las Vegas Review Journal studio. The Raiders went to Denver and came out with a win over the Broncos. And that leads off our top stories. Joining me now in the studio is Review Journal sports columnist Sam Gordon. Sam, I don't think the Raiders win is anything to overreact about. Both Jimmy Garoppolo and Devonta Adams, they said it themselves. Wasn't pretty, but they got the job done. So, Sam, what were the Raiders able to do to get out of Denver with a win? Finish, Trey. They were able to finish the game, right? Nine of their 11 losses in 2022 by one score or fewer. So, the Raiders, off to a great start, played a pretty much a perfect fourth quarter. Couple gotta have it drives by the offense, and the offense was able to execute. So, put together perfect drives. Defense needed the timely stop. They got it, overcame nine penalties for 97 yards. They finished and they overcame. Two things we did not see them do a lot of in 2022. Well, another big part of that, Sam, is Jimmy G stayed clean, mm -hmm. right? He took a couple hits because he made it happen with his legs, but the offensive line did not give up a sack in that game. So how impressive was the O-line? I think, I mean, one of the kind of the unsung hero of the game, right? The offensive line kept Jimmy G clean, as you mentioned, Dre. No sacks, and you get that kind of pass pro combined with Jimmy Garoppolo's feel for the pocket, uh, increases the upside of this offense quite a bit. So he had all the time he needed uh, to deliver accurate passes, 20 of 26, 200 yards, one of the better QBRs of the week. And if Jimmy Garoppolo has that kind of time, this Raiders offense could be able to move the ball. Well, thank you so much for that, Sam. And we're going to go out from Broncos country to the country roads. The Raiders are out in West Virginia, and so is Adam Hill with your fast takes. Well, thanks for that intro, Dre, for the reminder that I've heard that song about 17,000 times since I've been here. But yes, here is West Virginia, the Raiders making the Greenbrier Resort home for the next couple of days as they prepare for their second consecutive road game. This was started back in 2014. The Saints and Sean Payton decided to build, with the help of Greenbrier, a practice facility here that a lot of teams have used over the years. The Raiders using it now, a lot of bonding, a lot of team activities. Yesterday, Tuesday, an off day, they got to play golf, they went fishing. All around the property, there's a bowling alley as well. So a lot of ways for the team to bond, and they're doing it after a win, which is a very good feeling for the team. Several players talked about that, how happy they are coming off that 1-0 start. The Bills on the other side, 0-1, surprisingly, against the backup quarterback on Monday night. They're going to be angry and ready to get revenge, one of the favorites in the AFC. So a tough assignment for the Raiders, especially with some of the guys that are banged up. Devontae Adams spoke today. He didn't practice, but because he spoke to the media, probably trending in the right direction to be able to play. Maybe just a little bit of a rest day. Jimmy Garoppolo was limited. So a lot of guys are a little bit banged up after that first win, but a win is a win. They're very happy. They're moving forward and they're doing so here in West Virginia, getting ready for week two at Buffalo. DNR House of Diamonds is Las Vegas' elite private office jeweler, the perfect bridge between internet pricing and a traditional brick and mortar jewelry store. We specialize in loose diamonds, natural and lab grown, engagement rings, fashion jewelry, custom design, and jewelry repairs. We operate by appointment in our beautiful offices in the One Summerlin Building, downtown Summerlin. Our great relationships with the world's largest diamond wholesalers and our low overhead saves you hundreds, if not thousands, on your purchase. Let's take a look at some key numbers from the Raiders' victory. Zero, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo was not sacked in the contest. Huge shout out to the Raiders' O-line for keeping Jimmy G out of the dirt. Two, Jacoby Myers found the end zone twice in his Raiders' debut. Eight, triple seven is a lucky number here in Vegas, but on Sunday, the lucky number was eight. Max Crosby with at least one sack in eight games against the Broncos. Josh Jacobs switching from 28 to 8 for the first time officially. And the Raiders' win extends Jacobs' winning streak against Denver to 8 0. And Nate Hobbs also had eight solo tackles, which leads us to our next number 12. The total number of tackles Hobbs had against the Broncos. A career high for him as he helped lead the Raiders' defense to victory.
Welcome back to Vegas Nation Blitz. After a big win, it's always a good time to check out the online chatter and incredible trash talk. So let's take a look at some Raiders social media. One and oh, we're on the Buffalo. He growls Raiders! as he storms the future. It's been slightly cooling down out here in Vegas, but there's nothing quite like a victory plunge in the pool or hitting some moves in celebration, remembering that the Las Vegas Raiders have never lost to the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson was caught having a good time on TikTok. Unfortunately for him, Raider Ryan has been keeping track of the Broncos country L's. And Jimmy G wearing the number 10 or the number one and O, Jimmy Winopolo, an appropriate name after his debut. Now let's hear what the Raiders had to say about the week one victory. We needed that, you know what I'm saying? We needed a game like this, game one, to get us to throw us in that water, see how we react, you know what I'm saying? Throw us in the deep end and we swim, you know what I'm saying? NFL, bro, however you win is a win. Um, you know, it's just, it's a testament to all the, all the guys in this locker room. You know, we, uh, we've we been doing it all OTAs, um, we've been doing it all camp, and now we got to go out there and show the world, you know, that we're uh, improving. Uh, we still got a lot of room to grow. Um, myself and everybody in, included, you know, we got to get better, but um, I think we're off to a good start. Manufacture victories. No matter how it gets done, we just got to get the job done at the end of the day. A win is a win is a win. So we came out, we executed, and we did what we wanted to do to walk out of the stadium with the W. Uh, man, it's just to be able to close out, man, like I said, and fight through adversity. That's, you know, that's something that we didn't do too good last year. Um, so to be able to come in and do that week one is and against a, you know, division opponent is definitely huge. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Vegas Nation Blitz. Be sure to follow along at VegasNation.com as our crew in West Virginia provides updates and stories from practice. And be sure to tune in this Saturday at 7 a.m. for Vegas Nation Game Day, previewing the Raiders in Buffalo against the Bills. For our entire crew, I'm Leandre Fox. Thanks for watching. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Blitz. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin.